Hey, are you ready to go? All right, let's get going then. Wow, today's weather is really nice. It's warm and sunny. Kind of like a day to have a picnic or go fishing or any other leisure activities. But we have different plans for today. Well, maybe we can do something like that on the way back, if all goes well enough. You have all your tools and equipment, right? Yeah, the place we're going today is quite challenging, so you definitely should be prepared. But you should be set. I mean, just look at you. Your sword is forged with metal of utmost quality by the best blacksmith of the town. Your shield is also obtained from that Draugr monster you defeated a few days ago. And that fight was tough thanks to how sturdy that shield was. And your armor also has magical blessings granted by the fairies, which not only increases defenses, but also heals you from both injuries and status alignments. Not to mention last night, I enhanced your gear with magical enchantments myself. So you are very well equipped, but most of all, you have the best weapon, fighting prowess. You've grown quite a lot in the past few weeks. Hmm? <laughs> yes, and you do have me, a Valkyrie, as your traveling companion. But I'm flattered that you think I'm the best companion you can have. Thank you. Where are we going? Oh, we're headed to this place called the Darkwood Forest. The home of many monstrous beings that often invade villages nearby to steal food, tools, and other valuable items that the villagers own. Many hunters were sent to exterminate them, but none got the job done. Today we're going to venture there and see if we can find anything useful for our journey. Hey. Are you alright? You seem slightly off. I mean, normally, when we're on our way to somewhere, you'd be really energetic and jolly. Yet today you're being quieter than usual. Did you not get enough sleep? Couldn't be. You don't look like you're sick either. You think it's nothing. Fair enough, let's keep moving. Okay, we're here. This is funny. You see, outside the forest, everything seems peaceful, even inviting. The grass is green, and there are countless flowers blooming, yet the inside of the forest seems incredibly dark, sinister and lifeless. Such a strong contrast of scenery and atmosphere. Oh, I think I just heard a growl far away. It must be one of the creatures dwelling in there. Well, let's get going then. Are you right? Hey, are you okay? You're shivering. I can feel it. What's the matter? No, it can't be nothing. What's wrong? Are you? Are you scared? No, you don't have to tough it out if it's too much for you. I understand. This place is scarier and more dangerous than where we used to go. If you want to come here again at a later time, that is perfectly fine. <gasps> no. I won't think any less of you if you're afraid. It's perfectly normal. We all have fears, no matter how skilled or formidable we are. Simply having fears does not make you a coward or a weakling. In fact, fear keeps us alive, as being afraid of dangers keeps us away from it. And it doesn't matter who you are. It is both important and wise to keep your life and ensure your safety. Bravery never means to not value your life. That is what foolishness means. So don't feel ashamed for telling me that you are afraid. Here, come under my wing and let me hug you. It's all right. I'm here. You have nothing to be scared of. I'm here for you. Just take some time and calm yourself right here in my arms. <laughs> no, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with wanting emotional support from time to time. Especially if you're on a journey that is often dangerous. Even 
the most formidable warriors sometimes need a trusted companion by their side. And I'm that companion for you. Yes, I understand that this is not supposed to be easy. And I should be strict, but within reason. I don't want to force you into situations that you're not prepared for yet. That would be both unwise and irresponsible on my part. If this is too difficult for you, we can try something else and come back when you're more prepared or more confident. More importantly, you are my valued friend. As long as I am alive, I will not let anything bad happen to you. Anything or anyone that wishes to harm you will need to get past me first. I don't mean to brag, but it's not easy to best a Valkyrie especially one that's protecting her companion. <laughs> By the way, do you remember the first time we met? You were a petulant youngster, already the age of adulthood, yet not knowing what to do with your future. But I saw potential in you. Of course, at first you were defiant and didn't listen to me very well. After the first adventure that we went on, you've tasted your first victories. And you realized how much you'd learned from me. That victorious smile on your face was very pleasing to look at, and still is very pleasing to think back to. Ever since then, you've become humble and mature, and you've continued to grow stronger. And even though the adventures were getting more and more difficult, you've always been eager to jump into battle and prove your skills to both me and yourself. Teaching you and seeing you grow as a fighter day by day is truly my greatest joy. <laughs> no need to apologize for your former attitudes. What matters more is how you are now. Also, remember this. I chose you to be my companion. And it takes much to gain the approval of a Valkyrie. Even those who were hand-chosen by Valkyries may not last as long as you have on their journey. So don't ever think you're weak. And, well, even if you do, as long as I'm here, I will put you back on the right track. There is no shame in asking for help, support, or even comfort, dear. As I've said before, these are things that even the mightiest warriors need. I do not expect you to fight all your battles on your own. Even if you have the skill to do so, I still want to fight with you, because I enjoy being by your side. <laughs> no need to thank me, my dear. So, are you feeling better? Hmm? You actually want to go in? Right now? <laughs> Alright. Lead the way, my brave one. And remember, when things get a little hairy, I'm always by your side.